guys welcome to cooking with Farial again today we're going to be making this beautiful a jerk shrimp alfredo tuned please subscribe to my channel and let's head into cooking this beautiful dish guys let's start with the ingredients first um, here I have two pounds of shrimp that I've already cleaned deveined um, and removed the shell off of but I left only the shrimp tail on. Um, then I have penne pasta that I'm going to cook according to the instructions on the box. I have heavy whipping cream, sharp cheddar, uh, black pepper, parsley, oregano, then we have some Parmesan cheese. Uh, I have here red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and green bell pepper. Then I have an onion, but we only need about half of this. Um, I have here a few cloves of garlic, salt, and also we cannot forget our jerk seasoning so guys let's start first um, with seasoning our shrimp so the good thing about this walker's wood seasoning is that it already has salt in it and it already has all the spices that you need so i'm just going to add about two tablespoons of this this first so that we can let the shrimp marinate for at least uh, 20 30 minutes Basically our shrimp should look like this. So guys, as the water is boiling um, for us to uh, make the pasta in, we're just going to roughly chop our veggies. So I'm just going to show you. I have half an onion here and I'm basically just cutting it in like half slices. You can also cut this finely if you like, but you really don't need to. Just gonna cut this thinly. That's it. And for our garlic, we're just gonna roughly chop this. This one. So let's go ahead and cut our peppers. Um, these are pretty big, like this one. It's a pretty huge pepper. So we're only going to use about. I would say this much. I'll take a little bit more. And then half of the orange one. And then also half of the red one. Just quickly deseed these. I've already washed these up. And then we're just going to cut these in like, cut that in half and then pretty much how we cut the onion. So about this size is good. So I'm just going to speed up the this process for you. So our pasta water has come to a nice boil and now we're just going to add our penne to that. Be careful doing this. And to this I added about two tablespoon, tablespoons of salt. Make sure your water that you boil your pasta in is really uh, salty, it should taste like seawater. This is the only time you can actually salt your pasta and then we're going to cook this until it is al dente or cook it as per the instructions on the pasta box and we're gonna move on to the shrimp so in a non-stick pan I just put in some olive oil and I've let this heat up so now I'm just gonna take our main attraction which is the jerk shrimp and we're just gonna fry this up so that's the sound you want the sizzle and we are not gonna overcrowd the pan so we're not gonna cook all the shrimp together. I'm just going to cook a few at a time in batches. So just like that, we're going to lay all our shrimp down. And you only need to cook this about uh, two or three minutes on each side. So 
we're just gonna flip these over now. And it smells so good in here. This is exactly what we want. So we're just gonna speed this up for you and just flip all of the shrimp over. So now we're just gonna cook this on the other side and then we're gonna cook the rest of our batches of shrimp and pretty much that's it for the shrimp. So here we have all the shrimp that we fried. You can see all the seasoning looks amazing on it. This is exactly what we want our shrimp to look like. And I went ahead and added the uh, garlic and the onions that we chopped earlier. And now I'm just gonna add a little olive oil. butter. We're just gonna cook the garlic and the onions so they are soft. We're not looking to brown them. So we're just gonna mix them up just like this. So once our onion and garlic is um, a little cooked and softened just like this, we are going to go ahead and add our green, orange, and red bell peppers. Just a little pinch of salt just so that the peppers can cook a little bit. And I will also add a little sprinkle of black pepper. We're not going to add too much. We're just going to cook this just like that until these are also just a little tender but not soft, too soft or anything. So to the teaspoon of butter. Pretty much, you know, we have all the butter melted. And now we're just gonna add our heavy whipping cream. Just gonna go ahead and gently pour this into our pan. Add our Parmesan cheese. I'm just... In the meantime, I'm going to add some dried oregano. I'm also going to add a little dry parsley, a little light sprinkle of coarsely ground black pepper, and let's mix all of this up. I almost forgot to add our sharp cheddar, so I'm just gonna use about um, about half a cup. Gently cook and simmer. And in a second, we're gonna add our jerk seasoning. A tablespoon of the jerk seasoning. gently mix all of this together. So I went ahead and turned the gas to medium again. And now we are gonna add our peppers and onions and garlic back into the sauce. Pasta in now. I'm gonna see how much I need. I may not need all of it. mix this up. I'm going to turn the heat to low again. This is beautifully mixed. We did not use all of our pasta, but if you make more Alfredo sauce, you can definitely put all of it. I have just a little bit left, about this much left. So now we're just going to add our shrimp to this. Just 
jerk shrimp alfredo is done. You can see the creamy alfredo back there. You can see the really well seasoned shrimp. This is how it should look. You can still see the colorful peppers in there. And guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, please subscribe to my channel and look forward to other recipes, easy recipes like this for weeknight meals or uh, any time of the day. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, this jerk shrimp alfredo recipe and I'll see you in the next video.